Hey everyone, welcome in. It's fun to see uh, the people coming in. I toyed with the idea of just starting off with uh, music straight from the beginning, but uh, I thought I should give a bit of an introduction first, just so everyone's acquainted with what's going on. So in your email, you should have gotten kind of a PDF or a Word document of the program uh, for tonight. And what's going to be going on, um, I'm just going to be playing probably about 10 to 11 pieces last time I checked. And, uh, and I hope you really enjoy it. So given the nature of the recording studio that I had set up, I was unable to really fit in myself bowing or explaining each song, each piece, without uh, it cutting off camera and doing weird things. So you'll see me pop in here uh, in between to kind of explain the next piece of the program. And um, you could just imagine me bowing uh, while you clap in the, uh, the comfort of your own homes. So. Um, with that, we'll go ahead and get started uh, with a piece I learned. This is probably the earliest piece uh, out of the whole bunch. And as you'll see in your program, um, it starts off with a piece called Toccata Rebuso by Dennis Alexander, who's actually a, a good friend of my current teacher <laughs> by happenstance. Um, but uh, it's a really uh, enjoyable piece. I think you'll really enjoy it. And, um, and then from there, I'm going to progress into... Uh, Silver Clouds, which is a piece that I learned just recently. And then after that, uh, you'll have the opportunity to hear some more of my early stuff. And then we'll progress forward later into uh, some more advanced literature that I've learned recently. So for now, just uh, relax, enjoy yourself. I'll be popping in from time to time uh, like this, but mostly we'll just be getting on with straight music. And uh, feel free to contact me in the chat below the video or uh, my email, my phone number, and uh, we'll see you all shortly.
Well, I promised you uh, Takata and uh, Silver Clouds, and that's what you just heard, and that's what you just got. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next, we're going to be moving into uh, one of my favorite pieces. Um, and this is moving forward. The next kind of four songs are all going to be uh, from much earlier, uh, like four or five years ago earlier. Uh, it's this duet called Prairie Stomp. And I think I've been playing piano for about 10 years. I think I played it in about year two or three. And uh, this is just so much fun to play. And I even stuck this in there. Not even my teacher knows about this. <laughs> it's just kind of a surprise that I just decided to throw in. And I brought in my sister Camille to help me out uh, for the duet. And uh, she did a fantastic job. And I hope you enjoy the duet. It's just kind of a fun little piece. And then after that, we're going to be moving into a, a sister pair of classical pieces that I learned uh, kind of around the same time frame. And the first one is called uh, a, a Sonatina in C by Ku Lao. And the second one is a uh, Sonata by uh, Beethoven. So two movements from two different uh, works uh, from two great classical composers, really. And I'm just going to be playing those back to back. Um, and uh, so you can kind of see the differences and the similarities and the different artists of that period and how they kind of differentiated their own music and uh, why I independently enjoy both of them. So I'm going to be playing those two as a set after Prairie Stomp. And then um, we'll go from there. get into the classical pieces that I mentioned next I just brought Camille on so that we can do an impromptu bow this might be the only bow of the night just because it's a pain in the butt to bow on camera but we just wanted to uh, let you know how much we enjoyed that and hope you did too
done with those two classical pieces we'll have one more later on um, but did you enjoy the, uh, the the retro the kind of vintage background uh, as those are some of the oldest pieces that I played tonight next we're going to go to a piece that um, is very special to me I just really enjoyed it um, it came from a book um, by Kevin Olson who you'll see more of later on tonight who uh, wrote this book and uh, He's very big into colors, naming his pieces after colors. So he has this set of sonatas that he names after colors. I haven't learned those, but this is a, a book of impressions, so to speak. So they're kind of um, fantasy-like, kind of free-flowing music. And uh, he has one for each color of the rainbow. And for my competition, I think I learned indigo. Um, I worked with green, on the color green, with my teacher for a little bit. But uh, red was just something that I picked up uh, super quickly and is really, I think, probably my most favorite piece in the book. Um, I also really enjoyed Indigo, obviously, as I played that for my competition. But uh, this one was really special. So we're going to go into red next, and then we'll be on to some even more fun stuff later on.
enjoyed Red. Um, earlier this year, I played in my regional uh, kind of competition, uh, adjudications per se. And uh, these are the two pieces coming up next that I played. Uh, one is a Haydn Sonata in C, um, but it goes into a few different keys besides just C. It goes all over the place and, and has some, it's a fun one. Um, that'll be kind of uh, jumpy and exciting. And then we go into the Gershwin Prelude 1, which is something that unless you've heard it before, you haven't heard anything else like it. Uh, it's truly a, a one of a kind piece. And um, it's just surprising and funny and awesome at the same time. So I'm excited for you to hear those two. And then we'll conclude the program shortly after that.
right, that was the end of my competition pieces. So we're going to have the, the next three pieces, Ogre Mountain Shining, uh, Perfect, and Black and White played after this. Um, but in between, right now, is going to be just a, a brief intermission, five minutes. Go get a snack, take a walk. Uh, you can uh, text me or email me uh, what you think so far. And, um, and then we'll get right back to it after about five minutes here. Um, before we do that, I just want to kind of let you know about the final pieces and why they're meaningful to me. First of all, Ochre Mountain Shining. Um, so it's just a beautiful piece. Uh, it's written about the mountains in Utah where Kevin Olson actually grew up, the composer. And um, you can kind of just imagine like a spring glistening down the mountain when you listen to the song. So that's the first one you'll hear. And the next is Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Uh, the arrangement is by John Schmidt. And uh, that's probably the most common piece I play and just kind of my go-to signature work. So um, I think you'll really find a lot of emotion and meaning in that. And then finally is Black or White by Michael Jackson. And this arrangement is by Peter Bentz. And uh, I learned it really recently. And it's just to end on a very uh, strong and uplifting and, um, and uh, powerful note. So with that said, we're about to break into five minutes of intermission. And then we'll be back to listen to those three pieces. Thank you for being here and uh, listening to the music. And we'll talk soon.
You just finished hearing everything and uh, I would just encourage you right now to please take a look at the program that was sent to you um, so that you could get this link I also sent the program um, I assume you've been looking at it the whole time obviously but please take a look at the acknowledgments I'm really grateful to the people who 
helped me put this together and to have helped me along this path. Um, and especially I want to thank Susan and Mark for their generous piano and for um, my teachers, Eric and Julie. So I just wanted to thank them specifically again right here and right now, but they are in the program and I would encourage you to take a look at that. Um, as for if you have anything to say to me, I've been doing my best to answer everything down in the live chat down below, but you can also contact me um, as listed in the program as well. So I just want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and uh, I'll see you around.